Good morning. This is David with TechNewsZone.com in Henderson, Nevada. This uh, morning, uh, Memorial Day, uh, I'm going to do a quick video on some of the prints we've done on the Lulzbot Mini 2. Um, so after the break, we'll get to that. So hang on and look out for the video on the uh, prints from the Lulzbot Mini 2. This is Dave with TechNewsZone.com. I'm going to show you how to do a print on the Lulzbot Mini 2. We're going to print the turbine ball. I printed the lid earlier, which is right here. Um, came out good. It's, I think this is in standard mode, um, but it, the detail looks good. And this is made by Clockspring 3D, so he's really good at this. Let me switch to the other camera. All right, so we want to go to print from SD card. I want to print the turbine bowl, which is that one. So we click it. So you click on that one. So it's going to print it. The first thing it usually does is it drops to, uh, it heats the bed to 60 degrees, and then it heats the print head to 140 degrees, and it cleans the back there. It uses a little brush thing to clean the head. I don't know how long, I have to ask the Anybody out there has a Lulzbot Mini 2 or any other Lulzbot? How often, how long do those cleaning things last? It's a good question. I'll find that answer out. All right. This is David with TechNewsZone.com. Uh, it's going to print the uh, the Clockspring 3D turbine bowl, and let's let it get to that point where it starts to print and puts the first two layers down. So you guys see how that works. When it hits 140, it's going to level. The bed after it cleans the little uh, extruder, hot ended per se. It's all in one. I'm very used to Bowden, so it's a whole new world. Uh, I have not really messed with a direct drive extruder before. Um, not as far as I can remember. I might have years ago. I think the first printer I ever had was a uh, Delta from. God, it's been a long time. I had a CME CNC years ago. I had a printer bot many moons ago when it first came out. Ours wound up dying. It's in my closet. Printer bot simple. Might have been a simple. I think it was a simple metal. And then we had uh, some XYZ, Da Vinci ones we messed with, all in ones. CME CNC years ago. But I really like this printer so far. It's nice. It's metal, it's solid, and it's working. And the three millimeter film, it's cool because I, I'm not, I've only used it once with uh, Ultimaker, and I had an Ultimaker briefly before I gave it to school. Um, but it's, it's less likely to like twist, um, not, I've had like 1.75 millimeter filament and it's knotted, it's gotten tangled, where this is a little denser, a little thicker. And I, th I think even with the flexible filament, we're getting some flexible, I think, from Polymaker next week, this, yeah, next week. Later uh, next week, like Friday or Thursday, I'll finally get to mess with some, uh, excuse me, it's almost 10 here, but I woke up kind of early to take my son to work, so, but it's uh, getting ready up there, uh, it leveled itself, it checked four points on this printer, and it's going to heat to 210, and it'll get to printing. Well, let it get started, then tomorrow morning when I wake up, because I'm going to go to bed, because i got to take my son to work again, which is good, he's working again, he's in staging, but... Uh, it's pr printing the, uh, it'll print the um, RAF first, because I'm a RAF kind of guy. This is the Clockspring 3D. Back him if you like his stuff on Patreon. Um, uh, we did. Um, it's going to print the RAF, then it's going to print the bowl. Um, and it's the bowl that goes with this. Um, so, cool. Let's let it do the whole RAF, then we'll sign out for the evening, and in the morning we'll... Take a look at it and see how it did with the bowl. Hopefully, it did well because I have a lid. If it didn't do well, I have a lid for nothing. But this one's, I think it's printing about 60 millimeters per second. Um, per second. It was um, sliced on Lulzbot LE, uh, Cura by Lulzbot, meant, uh, Cura LE by Lulzbot. Um, I don't know if they're going to come out with any other iterations to it. This printer uses um, Marlin 1.9. 
I'm not sure if we're going to come out with a 2.0 version at any point. I have to ask about that too. Lulzbot is coming out with a new printer, which we might get to name to be named Nameless. I don't know much about it yet. And if I did, I'm not going to say anything about it. But uh, I don't know much more about it. But I'm not sure if it's uh, if this printer is going to have any updates to the Marlin or not. If anybody knows out there, if Lulzbot's going to update this to 2. Point, I think it's like 2.07 at any point. Let me know. Any updates to Lulzbot Cura? Let me know. I know. Um, they have 4.9 out there right now, or 5.0, I think it's 4.9, that my other printers have been using, so, but this works. I, I, I actually like this version where it slices it immediately. I know the later versions of Cura, they went away from that, but I actually like that where it immediately slices it, um, the object, as soon as you're done messing with it, so that's kind of cool. I like the color, too. It, I've always, it looks nice. It's like a yellowish green. You can still paint it or anything like that. I was showing my son, it's like, well, it's yellow, but but if you want to paint it, you can still paint it to a different color. But but by the end of the week, we're working with quite a few people to do reviews on filament. Now they have a, a film a printer that prints in three millimeters, so we're we're getting some filaments from 3D Fuel. We're getting some filament from Polymaker. I'm getting one roll from Graph Milk, uh, and then um, we'll see what else. Because I'm curious as to what works, what works well on here. So I'm gonna, I want to test out different filaments that are out there and just see how they perform. So far, the Polymaker Light has done very well. And then I, I printed a Freddie Mercury for my wife. I don't know who makes Ultimaker's film. I think it's Keen Village Plastics, which I'm working with them too. So we might be getting some uh, filament from them as well. Uh, I've used their 1.75 millimeter filament in the past. It's worked rather well. Um, and then someone, uh, Joel Telling and somebody else on Twitter, I'm terrible with names. I'll look it up, mention it in my comments. I mentioned a printed solid that's good three millimeter as well. Uh, Jesse's line, he calls it, I think. Um, but I'm, I will order some of that, unless they send us some, but we will order some on payday. And does anybody have experience with something called Gizmodorks? I'm not familiar with them, but I've seen them on Amazon, so maybe I'll order one of theirs to try out too. But, but so far I have three or four um, different ones we're trying, so I'm looking forward to the Flex. I think Polymaker's thing is some Polyflex, so. And maybe I'll get um, some Ninja Tech or Cheetah or one of their brands to try out as well. Because if I can make stuff in Flex, it can make cool things. Like we do a lot with education, so and we try to help autism. So I can make some stuff for the holidays. It gives me like five months to make some stuff to give away for the holidays out of Flex. So, so maybe some gizmos and gadgets for uh, there's a couple of autism groups in town we support. So that'd be cool. So let's get it to the. This is it right now. As you can see, it's um. Doing the raft. This printer's not crazy fast, but it's not crazy slow either, so it works and works well, which is good. And the final quality is uh, that looks nice. Even this little round thing. I'll have to do some benchies on this, uh, benchmarks too. Um, I saw some people printing really large benchies. I'm gonna print a normal size benchie on here, and then I'll print the biggest one I can just to see how it comes out. But that little, um, Test print there uh, printed well. There's something on it, dirt or something. Um, a little black mark, I don't know what that is. They're printed well. This is a clock spring 3D. It's the lid for that bowl that's printing now. And it, it looks good. Um, like the curves look good. There's no supports, but it's not really that tall. Um, and the one I'm printing now has no supports either. But it looks good, good. I mean, you look at it up close. Let's use my other camera, but let me put the flashlight on. The light on. Light's on. Um, that's the light. With the light on, it, it looks good. Um, it's smooth. It's. I don't see any aberrations. There's a little bit of a um, banding on the back. It's hard to see with the light. But you can see a little banding on the back of here, but I don't know if that's intent. Ah! I am so clumsy, as my kids tell me. Um, 
how my son's makes fun of me. He's like, Dad, you're so ungraceful. I'm like, eh, I'm 6'2", 206. Graceful is not something I'm going to try to shoot for, but now you can see a little, a little glitch there, but that's it's intentional, but it looks good overall, so. I like Clock Spring 3D. Uh, first thing I experienced here with their, his um, designs was the toaster, the torture toaster, and then I printed the uh, trash can. It's like a hopper trash can that it prints in place. I tried printing that hopper trash can on this printer, but I had to drop it to 66% to fit. And with the Ultimaker filament, it, it didn't move. So I might have glitched it by making it too small. Um, but I will try the Torture Toaster on here, the new version. Uh, I'll see if there's a new new update. I saw there was a beta with a stronger um, toaster arm. But but this is the, uh, like I said, Lostmont Mini 2 printing right now. So far, I'm very impressed. I like how it's made. It's solid. I was military, so the only thing I would like better about it was army green. It looks something like army, because I drove tanks and stuff. I like the chain. Remind me of our treads on our tanks. I like the wiring. I like the metal. It's all metal. Yeah, this is olive green. It would look like something from the army. Maybe I'll have to get some stickers and make it olive green. No, it's on low, and I can't do that. Um, but it's pretty cool. And the interesting thing is it, it doesn't move crazy fast. Like I've seen some printers I've had in the past where the bed, this moves in sync and it's smooth. Like the bed moves and the head moves. But it's smooth. It's not crazy fast, but it's fast enough. Like by the morning, see, it's, I think it's 0% at the moment, but I'm thinking by, I have to wake up at 7.30 Pacific time tomorrow, take my son to work, but I think... It will um, be done by the morning, so. So far, it's been almost 10 minutes of printing. It's printing this at 205 degrees, uh, bed temperature 60 degrees. I usually do 210 to 215, but my other printers, but this one seems to be doing well at 205, so. All right, enough for now. Uh, have a good evening. Signing out, davewithtechnewsnow.com, and we'll see it in the morning. Hello, this is David with TechNewsZone.com. This is the, I think it's a turbine bowl from Clockspring 3D, printed in Polymaker PLA, um, Poly Light, and in the little spot, yellow green. And it came out really, really nice. Look at that. Uh, made by Clockspring 3D. I had the lid earlier, and then I printed overnight, printed that. And it came out very, very nice. Let me see if I can get it off. And now I'm just using the phone because it's. For, I need my camera holder, but at the moment I'm holding the camera because let's put this right there for a second. One moment. It's Dave with TechNewsZone.com. Got the uh, model off the bed. Uh, made by Clock Spring 3D. The only thing I see is a little string right there, but. That's pretty cool. It's really solid. Uh, Prints on the uh, Lowsbot Mini. A little bit of a glitch right there, but nothing too bad. But I printed it with a, a raft. Um, at standard, standard height. And here's the little lid for it. And it fits perfectly. It's pretty cool. It's a turbine bowl for those of us who like tech nerds and stuff. That's pretty cool. Something neat. Kids could do these because I, I can make these for like the local autism group and have the kids paint them. So that's pretty cool. Or you could use them as a candy dish. You can make it bigger and use it for a candy dish. Or even the way it is, or put paper clips in there. Um, coins, candy, anything like that. Oop, there I got that one string out. Oh, that looks beautiful. Wow. Clock Spring's got some skill there. Um, Clock Spring 3D. Cool. Came out really nice on the uh, Wellsbot Mini 2. So far, so good. I'm getting a, bu a bunch of film this week, so I'll have some other colors. Um, probably like five or six rolls, like a couple different places. And, and some flex, so I'm gonna, looking forward to trying out the flex. I did a good job on this. Uh, took it eight hours and 11 minutes overnight, and it came out well. 
Uh, Dave with TechNewsZone.com signing out. Have a good day. Hello, this is David with TechNewsZone.com in Las Vegas. This is the print I started earlier. Uh, it's like a little pencil holder on my Lowsbot Mini 2, which I printed it on. I was only able to print it at 74%. I probably could have gotten a little bit bigger, but since it's a... Uh, because it wasn't able to get it at 100%. But I might try it on my, some of my other printers later, but I did print it on here, and it came out pretty good. Next up, I'm going to do the lid. Also, it's 74%. It's, this is made by um, Clockspring 3D, as mentioned earlier, and it looks like it came out good. But DaveWithTechNewsZone.com, signing out in a moment. That's a, um, like a gadget or a pencil holder. Hello, this is David with TechNewsZone.com. Here is that Clockspring 3D print that I did. Yesterday, I uh, did the bottom of it first, which came out really, really well. It's printed in on the Lowsbot Mini 2 in um, Polymaker Poly Light, um, and it's made by Clockspring 3D. His prints are really awesome. The only things I had to print it at 74%, um, which it could have probably gotten bigger because it to make it fit, but it's a cool box. It does fit my crimper, 3D printer crimper in there. You can put pencils or pens or whatever. There's a spot for magnets if you want to put magnets in here, there and on this side, and it, it, it worked perfectly right out of the box, so um, right off the bed, you know, um, no supports, just a brim, and it fit together beautifully. I'm going to make a bigger one on my other printer because I want it to fit, I'm going to do it at 100% or maybe larger, but pretty cool. Fox Spring 3D, made nice, smooth, and it came out beautifully. Yeah.